this video, I'm going to show you guys a new way using Helium 10 that you can find potential product opportunity and ideas, this time extracting data from Pinterest trends. This is a new tool that we have right on our dashboard. And, and the reason we made this tool is we've been talking about since Project X that you can somehow uh, or you can sometimes spot upcoming trends that aren't even on Amazon yet on Pinterest. All right. Because, you know, remember, think about it. If somebody has an idea, they can just pin it on Pinterest. Right. As opposed to there's a new idea. Um, it doesn't get on Amazon right away. You know, it, take, it might take three, four, five, six months to develop uh, a product. Right. So sometimes Pinterest trends can kind of like uh, get a head start on what's going to trend on Amazon. All right. So let's get into how to use this tool. Now, where you can find it is that you can actually scroll down halfway on your dashboard and then you'll see under the research a keyword um, widget here, a new what's trending on Pinterest. And so this is kind of like, think of it as a, a slot machine. All right. You're, you're kind of like rolling the slot machine. Um, and I'm going to hit refresh here. And it runs so red and black aesthetic. Mm, that might not seem very uh, interesting to me. Um, by the way, you might be wondering where in the world are we getting these keywords? Well, what we've been able to do is extract all of the keywords from Pinterest trends and the Pinterest trends search volumes for it. And we could see what's the most on the increase the last week, the last two weeks, the last three weeks. And so we're trying to show that um, here in this. So um, I probably could look at that, but let me just refresh again, see what comes up tapered square nails. I don't know what that is, but you know, it could be on Amazon. H how would I know uh, if it's on Amazon? Well, watch this. Let me, let me go open in Pinterest. All right. It's going to show me this Pinterest trends tapered square nails. You can see, wow, it is increasing. Look at, look at that, this increase in searches for Pinterest or for um, tapered square nails. And what I could do is I can actually hit here the demand analyzer. And let me just see, is there any search volume for such a thing on Amazon? Not yet. I'm not sure if, if there's. this is just not interesting. But look at this. Tapered square nail tips, 5,000 search volume. So I, I could go in and see you know, what, what kind of products are showing up there. Um, let's just keep going here. Refresh. Nail colors, a lot of nail things on Pinterest. Christmas dinner table. All right, so uh, I'm recording this video right uh, during the... Uh, uh, Christmas time. And so this obviously was something trending uh, last week. White ombre nails. All right. So here's the next thing here. Dark academia. <laughs> what the heck is that? Let's go ahead and open it up in Pinterest trends. Dark academia. I see a slight increase here. So we picked up on that. Um, how could I use this? Well, I would assume that there's no search volume on this in, in Amazon. I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm pretty sure, but let's just take a look here. Okay, that just, all right, guys, look at that. That shows you how little I know. This is why we trust the data, not your own mind, because I figured that this would have no uh, interest. I don't even know what this word means, but look at this. Dark academia clothing, dark academia room decor. All right, so this is all of a sudden now where I can just start getting into ideas. Let's just look at the top products that are showing up on Amazon for dark academia. Um, this pulled up black box niche. This is like just like a search on Amazon. And then I can already see the data here. Let's see. Taper jeans we've got here. Uh, My Hero Academia. Now, if I were to look at this keyword on in black box by clicking see all top products, it would show me some of these uh, top sellers here. Uh, let me go back to the dashboard. If you notice here, uh, Dark Academia showed up here. It's going to automatically populate in this research a keyword. And then I can hit search here. And then it's going to show me some of these top keywords relating to dark that have dark academia in it, uh, dark academia clothing, dark academia room decor. Uh, let's just take a look more uh, on magnet. Some of these keywords that opens up magnet. By the and by the way, guys, that's not new. I hope you guys have been using this uh, research a keyword feature where it allows you to get this uh, data here without even having to go to magnet. But I want to dive a little bit deeper in here. Uh, let's just look, uh, do an advanced. Um, search here and show phrases that contain dark academia hit apply and then i can see here let me just sort by search volume and i can see those ones dark academia clothing dark academia aesthetic clothing. i really don't like doing clothing but this room decor looks interesting so maybe i'll dive into this and this is what product research is guys it's just going down rabbit trails right um I still don't know what dark academia means. I know what my hero academia is. It's a great anime. 
Uh, but there's some interesting things on here. There's posters. Um, what else do we have here? I like this. I, I like seeing something where there's some products here dominating, but then as I scroll down, it's already completely different products. That shows that maybe it's not dominated by you know one seller or by one exact type of product. So I could just run X-Ray on here and see some of the sales. Let's take a look. Okay, I mean, look, look at some of this stuff. This stuff is all selling like 10, 20 a day. Look at these. These are selling like 100 units a day. That's crazy. $103,000 of this vintage wall kit, right? So I I, I think I'm kind of straying away from that original keyword of dark academia, but we're just going down a rabbit trail here, guys. So watch this. I'm going to hit this. I'm going to run keyword search. This is going to uh, run Cerebro for all of the keywords that this is ranking for. And I'm a, I'm a especially curious to see what in the world it are the keywords that are driving 4,000 up to 4,000 sales. All right. So let's run Cerebro here. Um, and let me see, hey, search volume of at least 1,000. And let's say where the organic rank is between one and 10. And let's apply these filters. And then take a look at this, where this is ranking high for. Now, all of a sudden, I have other potential product ideas. Vintage room decor, uh, collage kit for wall aesthetic. Now, again, wh where did all of this come from? This all came from me just spinning the wheel here on this Pinterest trend finder. I ended up on dark academia, which I thought was a nothing keyword. And then using the demand analyzer, I found, wow, there actually is some demand on Amazon. What I probably want to do is I'll probably want to go to, back to Pinterest because that's where the, the demand, you know, where I found the demand. And I'd want to see what kind of products are actually being pinned or what kind of images to get an idea. Um, that just was one spin and, and I got that. Now, you're not going to get... Uh, an amazing product idea with every spin. I mean, there's going to be a lot of probably celebrities or or cookbooks or recipes or or things that maybe you know you can't really um, you know apply to Amazon. But this is a great way to find what is trending on Pinterest. People always say, "Hey, is it too late to find opportunity on Amazon or new product ideas?" No, it's not too late. There are so many different ways. You don't just have to use black box. You don't just have to be scrolling on Amazon. Sometimes you can get inspiration off of Amazon. And that's what, uh, why we developed this Pinterest trend finder. All right. So uh, get into your account, guys. Spin the wheel here. See what comes up. And even if it looks like something that might not necessarily be something you think is a a product you can sell on Amazon, like maybe it has to do with recipes or, or something like that, still dive into it because there's always something related to it. Like if it's a recipe for a certain kind of dish, well, maybe that dish is trending. Is there a certain kind of cookware that you need in order to make that dish or something to present that dish? So dive into these niches and these sub niches uh, like um, acad dark academia that you maybe didn't even know existed and see if there's different products that you can find and research that you might be able to sell on Amazon.